Hey there and welcome back. Today we're going to be planting a rose bush. Here we have a rose bush called the Winnipeg Parks. It's a pink, hardy, rustic rose. The greenhouse that we picked it up from said it's great for Canada weather as it blooms throughout the summer and hibernates under snow in winter. This rose bush loves full sun to partial sun. It has a light fragrance and grows up to 24 inches high. They produce deep pink blooms that appear early summer to frost. Keep watching to the end of the video to find out a tip. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, subscribe because there's always new videos coming up and you won't want to miss out. So in a couple days, we'll find a spot in the yard and plant our rose bush. As the days pass on, you can watch the buds open. Okay, so now that a few days have passed, we have picked a spot in our yard to put this rose bush. If you've seen my previous video on planting our tree, we're going to be putting it not too far away from that. We also ended up planting grass, which now I'm going to have to remove some of that grass. So once we know where our rose bush will be going, we're going to remove the grass and dig the hole. So you can see we've removed all the grass already in this area and tossed it out onto more of the grassy area. If you missed out on the planting of the tree, I'll link it in this video. And also stay tuned for the growing of the grass. We will watch how the tree grows and the rose bush. After the rose bush is planted, someday I'll be putting a trim around the tree, the bush and the garden, along with some wood chips. Now it's time to pop in that rose bush. Next we're going to be mixing up a plant food mixture to help it grow. We are using the same stuff as we used on the tree. You can refer back to the tree video to see what plant food we used. Also, when planting this rose bush, make sure to wear gloves because it has a lot of pokey spines and you don't want to be poking your fingers. Once you give enough soaking to the roots, we're going to throw some dirt on top and pour the rest of the mixture on the dirt. I'll grab a rake and rake it a bit. So if you're wondering about the solar fairy right beside the rose bush, she is a solar fairy that I purchased from Walmart a few years ago. And the rose right beside her is a solar rose that changes colors. I will link that video to this video once it's up. So there we have our rose bush planted, the grass is growing, and I'll keep you posted on how the rose bush grows. I'll film a few more shots so you can see how the roses pop open and on how big they get. So here's the next day. You can see how much they've opened up. They're a deep colored pink. There's purple leaves here, you can see that's the new growth, producing another rose head. So here's your quick tip. Once your flower is done blooming, 
your petals will fall off and you'll be left with this end sticking out. If you want your rose bush to bloom again, just snip above the leaves. This will allow for new growth and a new rose. I will leave a link below on where I got these handy little snippers. I can't wait until this bush grows up to be a little bigger and full of roses. As another day passes on, you can see again, the roses have popped open more. So the full roses last about a day or two before the petals fall off and they're ready for new growth. So if I catch them in time, I take the clean petals that fall off and I dry them because in the winter I like to make bath bombs. You can check out some of my bath bomb videos. And here you can see how large the rose is compared to my hand. So if you'd like to see more videos on how I made the bird bath out of boxes, the planting of the tree, the Lightum solar spotlights, and how our grass is growing. Along with someday we're going to be removing this stump, setting up a bird feeder, and putting in the trim. All the links will be provided below to see all those videos and new videos coming. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all new videos. And be sure not to miss out on the new videos ahead. Click that notification bell to be notified for each and every time a new video is posted. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.